This is Jeff Armand coming to you from Victoria Falls World Challenge Pigeon Race. You know, we've been asked as to why we chose Victoria Falls as a venue for this race. Uh, we have many critical success factors that we've identified, one of which is the venue. We believe that uh, Victoria Falls is unsurpassed as a venue for people to come and visit the race. It is one of the seven natural wonders of the world. It has uh, uh, game in abundance. It has uh, fantastic scenery. It has really good facilities. Uh, and it is one of the safest tourist destinations on the globe. The race uh, was conducted today, the final race. Uh, we had 1,128 pigeons go to the race. Uh, pigeons flew from Bulawayo, which is to the southeast of Victoria Falls. In terms of pigeon racing, relatively short distance of only 410 kilometers. Uh, we anticipated a very hard race, uh, which is normal at this time of the year because of the very high temperatures but the degree of difficulty is uh, is actually established by the conditions rather than the distance and the temperatures are very high at this time of the year and as a result we have felt that uh, 400 kilometers is about the limit and that has proved again to be the case. We had a tailwind from the liberation point uh, for the first half of the race and the latter half of the race a slight headwind but with that the front runners managed to punch through and we put up fairly high velocities of 1470 meters per minute and uh, the tail enders started coming in a bit later temperatures raised very rapidly after about 11 o'clock and the return slowed down the, um, the first pack of pigeons that arrived at the loft uh, came in from southeast online uh, trapped very quickly and we had the honors going to Mike Gaines from the United States taking first and third position the second pigeon was from PJ pigeon team from Slovakia fourth eighth and ninth position and honors went to Kuwait fifth United Kingdom sixth Australia and seven, again, United States of America. The, the bulk of the prize money has gone to Mike Gaines from the United States, a total of 250,000 US dollars. Uh, the balance of the prize money was split down the line to 50 positions, all of which have been filled on the day. In uh, future years, um, we have already started to market our next race, which will take place in 2019. Uh, we have changed the time of the year simply because the conditions are extremely difficult at this time of the year. What we've done now is we've changed the race time to the traditional time of flying pigeons May, June and July. And we've extended the distance to 600 kilometers rather than the 400 kilometers uh, we have now. We still believe it will be a fairly tough competition and we believe that the, the best pigeons will still be in front. We were satisfied with the, the race results. Some people may have wanted it to, to be a bit tougher, a bit slower, but still at the end of the day, the better pigeons we believe came through. Um, any pigeon that survives the regime here um, is, a, is fantastic. So they're all winners. Now, irrespective of the position that's taken, of course, the money goes and the honors go to the, the first positions, but uh, we rest assured that uh, all birds that survive this, uh, this program, both now and the one that we'll have in the future, uh, you can be proud of them. Uh, we have an undertaking to continue to improve the, the race and we've already put out our uh, intake dates for next year's uh, uh, intake, which uh, will take place in, at the Dutch quarantine station from May until August this year. Uh, the local agents in, the, in each country will be able to give you more details or you can pick it up on our website. Um, the pigeons will be brought in between May and August um, and then quarantined after which they'll be orientated and basic uh, brief training 
allowed to molt and then we'll start our program from about April next year. Race program is expected to be May to July. We have pushed the prize money up from the 700,000 US dollars that we had this year to a prize pot of $1 million next year. And we hope to see many more participants in the future.